When a bush hog to pastures, they tend to, the bush hog knocks the uh, fire ant mounds down just to just a few inches high where the blade height is. This one's up near the fence, so the bush hog didn't touch it, but usually they get a lot bigger than this. But, uh, so anyway, I usually see these things when I'm bush hogging and knocks them down. So, um, what we're gonna do is see a Dawn dishwashing detergent. This one's still pretty big, even though I went over it with a bush hog. And we'll see what happens. That'd be much better than putting poison out here for the goat and the horse graves. I, I just bush hog this pasture. These are the fire ant mounds I ran into that I'd like to get rid of because they're right near the solar panels. I actually stepped on this one the other day. Let's see. Yep, there's a bunch of them in there. Now, okay, I'm gonna see if Don this soap, if it'll do something bad to fire ants. Now this is Don Ultra that I purchased just for this. So I got a pretty large container and uh, we'll take a look at the back side. This is the back side label on the Don. Um, as you can see here, one of the things that stands out is the only brand trusted by rescue workers to help save wildlife. It contains biodegradable surfactants, to phosphate, International Bird Rescue uses Don Original. So it should be pretty safe. The main surfactant, which stands for surface active agent, or soap, usually means you've got a molecule of a polar side that'll dissolve in water and a non-polar to dissolve in greasy, oily things. That's what provides the cleaning. Should be pretty safe, but I'm going to uh, do a little further checking on this just to make sure we're okay. I decided to use Bing with Copilot and ChatGPT4, which I really enjoy using, um, to see what it says about using uh, the soap on insects. We'll see what it says. That's fascinating. Let me explain. Soaps have been used for more than 200 years as an insect control method. When it comes to killing insects, the exact mechanism isn't fully understood, but here's what we know. Cell membrane disruption. Soap works on direct contact with pests by disrupting their cell membranes. When the insect is penetrated with fatty acids, its cells leak their contents. This leakage causes the insect to dehydrate and eventually die carrot 1 carrot carrot 2 carrot. Removal of protective coating. Soaps and detergents may also remove the protective waxes that cover the insect's body. This can lead to death through excess loss of water carrot 1 carrot kissy face. Contact insecticides. Soaps act strictly as contact insecticides, meaning they have no residual effect. To be effective, sprays must be applied directly to and thoroughly cover the insect. Soaps are chemically similar to liquid hand soaps, but commercial insecticidal soaps are specifically designed for controlling insects while minimizing plant injury carrot one carrot. Remember, only certain insects are susceptible to soap-based treatments, usually small, soft-bodied ones like aphids, young scales, whiteflies, psyllids, mealybugs, and spider mites carrot one carrot. So next time you're battling garden pests, consider reaching for that trusty soap spray. Kissy face. Well, ChatGPT4 likes to say kissy face for some reason. Let's see what it says directly about ants and any regula regulations involving this. Absolutely. Dawn dish soap can indeed be a handy ant battling ally. When you mix it with water and apply it directly to ant infested areas, it disrupts their exoskeletons. This leads to dehydration and eventually ant annihilation. Just remember, it's not a registered pesticide, so use it wisely. 1. Certainly. Let's dive into the sudsy world of dishwashing soap. Dawn Ultra. 
Concentrated formula, Dawn Ultra boasts a concentrated formula, making it effective for everyday messes. Ingredients. It contains fewer ingredients compared to other variants. Scents. Available in one scent. Format liquid soap only. Dawn Platinum. Super concentrated. Platinum takes it up a notch. It's even more concentrated than Ultra. Ingredients. Platinum includes extra surfactants, sodium hydroxide, and tetrasodium dicarboxymethyl glutamate. Scents. Comes in three delightful fragrances. Formats. Available as liquid soap and power wash dish spray. I decided to go ahead and take a look at the Procter & Gamble SDS on Dawn dishwashing soap. We'll show you that here in just a second. This is the Procter & Gamble safety data sheet for Dawn Ultra Dishwashing Liquid Original Scent. As you might imagine, since it's used to clean wildlife, oil off wildlife, it's, it's in dishwashing soap, it's pretty non-hazardous. It can cause eye irritation, that sort of thing. But what I'm trying to get at is when you put it out into the environment, you should not put it in a lake or running water or stream or anything like that. Because even though it can kill insects, you don't want to kill any good insects. As with any chemical, even though it's dishwashing soap, I highly advise read the uh, safety data sheet. Ecological information. Ecotoxicity. The product is not expected to be hazardous to the environment. But like I said, you know, we're talking about putting it on a fire ant mound. There's not many good insects in a fire ant mound. Um, but I would not get it anywhere near, uh, you know, a drinking water source uh, or whatever. So, uh, especially streams, that sort of thing. But you don't want to kill in something that's uh, beneficial to the environment. So I'm just guessing at how much you put in here. I'm not going to just guess. Let's put some in there. Just pour a bunch of Dawn dishwashing soap on them. You know, I never have like poisoning anything. But these things can be bad news. Gotta be careful, they're all over here. Okay, I'll look at it in a couple days, see what happens. Seven days later, here's one of the two fire ant mounds I put the Dawn dishwashing detergent on the other day. Poured rain the next day. That looks like new mound there. So does that. This is the other one. Now what I'm going to do is dig into it and see how many are live down in there. Well, I don't think it did much good. Maybe part of it killed this one here it's interesting they're not in the middle that's right where I poured it I think they're over here well not so much it was more effective on this mound than on that one. Let me look at one I didn't put Dawn on. I didn't pour Dawn on this one. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, wow. You know, I think that Dawn did do some good. Obviously, this is seething with fire ants and eggs and stuff. Okay, here's a bush hogged fire ant mound. It's probably still pretty active. I'm gonna try something a little different. I'm going to 
use this rake, of course you gotta be careful you get stung to, to rake all that up. And uh, so I'm gonna pour Don down in there. But as you can see, it is seething with fire ants. So I'm gonna saturate this entire area here. I put about half an inch of Don Ultra in, uh, and filled it up, filled this, I don't know how much I put in there, gallon or two gallons, whatever it was. We'll see what that does. So I'll we'll have to check back in a few days and see if it's wiped them out. I don't see any evidence of fire ants in this one that I poured Don on a week or so ago. There were still some in this one, but not much. I think it's, there's a few down in there, but hardly, hardly any compared to before. So it did have an effect. There's no question that Don does have an effect. I hope you found this video informative. If you did, please like it, subscribe, and check out our other links. And check back, uh, make sure you check in a week or so, cause uh, or maybe less. I'm going to come back and revisit this spot here and see what we did to those uh, fire ants that were just seething in there with fire ants. So we'll see what happened to it. Please check back.